hey guys welcome back just making another quick video today um, today's topic is going to be how to do focus stacking manually or without the use of a device such as the Arsenal smart camera assistant a uh, little device that I reviewed in the last video um, it wasn't really a review in the end because the photos didn't save um, and I was overall I was just disappointing with how long everything on the product took a lot of the comments were saying thanks for the raw and honest review you've saved us some money um, why would we use a thing like the arsenal wing we could just use the auto function on our phone or something like that and get the same result and it just took forever to take a photo so today i thought based on that i need to do a tutorial on how to do focus stacking um, i was actually just down in queenstown not too long ago so i tried to take a few um, landscape photos which we can use we can have a look but i've also got another series that i've taken just down in the backyard so let's go take some photos <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm just down here in Queenstown. Um, the last video I made was on the Arsenal uh, personal camera assistant and um, it was quite a raw and honest review and it wasn't even a review in the end because I couldn't actually get the uh, I couldn't actually get any photos from the device after I closed it down, flown back to the office because uh, I, was, I was away remote and yeah, so after I'd shut it down and flown back to the office pulled the memory cards out of the camera and there was nothing on there so um, everyone's saying I should do it again uh, do a proper review things like that but I, just, <laughs> I don't know I can't be bothered I don't get a lot of time to do photography so um, I don't want a device that takes forever and then loses the photos when I'm in a nice spot so I thought I'd do a little video on focus stacking itself um, very impromptu I'm just doing this on my phone uh, I've got my camera right here, it's a um, Canon 5D Mark IV, uh, it's about 8am and we're in Queenstown in the middle of winter, there's a bit of snow around on the hills and hopefully the audio is alright, I'm just going to try and do a little video of the screen as I'm focus stacking just so then when we go back to the office we can, um, we can run a little tutorial on how to fix that up in Lightroom and Photoshop and end up with the right thing. So here's my scene. Um, it's Queenstown, the township's over there somewhere, the sun's coming up, I'm hoping the sun's going to put a nice pink glow on these mountains, it's already starting to make the sky look nice. Um, I'm staying in a little hotel just up there, and I know we've got some nice colour in these trees here, cool little mountain backdrop, and on my camera here, I sort of set my composition, um, and Focus stacking is really, really easy. This is my settings. I'm shooting at um, f8 and on aperture priority mode. I am shooting one stop down and I've got a two second delay on my shutter. White balance is set to cloudy just so it's consistent. I'll probably change that in post later anyway. Alright, so the process is pretty simple. All I'm going to do is touch up on the tip of the mountain up there. Focus on that. Hit my shutter. Two seconds. Maybe we'll focus down here on the foreground somewhere. As far as down it'll go. Maybe over here. Refocus. snap the photo. Um, one more in the mid-ground just at the edge of the lake there. Refocus. Snap the photo. What I then like to do is just put my hands in front so I know that, take a photo of my hand so I know that set of three photos belongs together when I'm looking at it in post. Um, I'm going to go through and take a series more as the sun comes around. Just starting to make the tops of the mountains look pink there now. Um, looks really cool. Hopefully, we get a full focus scene and we'll see what it looks like. It should be good. Thank you. See you guys back at the office. Alright, 
welcome back to the office. So in Lightroom here, I've actually got three photos that I took out in the backyard. I'm just going to select all of those by clicking the one on the left hand side, holding the shift button and select the one on the right hand side. Then I'm going to right click, go up to edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. So right, now we're in Photoshop and we've got all three layers down here in the right hand corner, lower right corner. Um, the top layer is actually the foreground, which we can see the Buddha head here is nice and sharp. Uh, the background's a bit soft. If you turn that top layer off, then the lantern becomes sharp. And if you turn that middle layer off, then the soccer ball becomes sharp. So I'm going to just turn them all back on. Um, I'm going to go Control Zero to zoom out. And I'm going to select the top layer, hold Shift, select the bottom layer. Then want to make sure all the layers are aligned, so we go up to Edit, Auto Align Layers, leave it on Auto, hit OK. Photoshop does its thing, thinks about it. Alright, now they're all aligned. What we're going to do is select the top layer. Um, there's two ways we can do this. I'll show you the older way first, so you get an understanding of it. And then there's the automatic way um, that Photoshop does. So we're going to use a layer mask. So Click the layer mask, um, and then we're going to create a gradient. So you hit G for gradient. Um, make sure you've got black to white selected up the top here, and um, linear. And all we're going to do is draw a gradient. Oh, and also my foreground background color is black to white also. I'm going to draw a gradient from just below this lantern to just above the Buddha's head. And there you go, it brings the lantern into focus as well. Now we're going to select the second layer down, create another layer mask, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Um, I'm holding shift here to make it nice and straight. And there you go, that's it. So if I click that layer, hit the backslash button, you can see what's there. Click that one, and it's that. Um, if we zoom in, it should be sharp on the ball, sharp on the lantern, and sharp on the Buddha's head. Right, so I'm just going to delete those masks. Select the top one, select the bottom one. They're still aligned. Um, we're going to go to Edit, Auto Blend Layers, Stack Images. Hit OK. And bang, that's done. You can see on the layer mask down here, it's created slightly different masks. I hit this, you can see that one. Turn that off, select that one. You can see that one. And then you can see that one. The photo just, Photoshop just goes through the uh, process and finds a sharp and non-sharp objects. So, I'm gonna go back to Lightroom here and I'm gonna select these Queenstown photos. So one, two, three, open. Choose Edit, open as layers in Photoshop. And they're going to come in just like the um, backyard photos did. Once that's all done, we select the top one, select the bottom one. Um, we go up to Edit, um, Auto Align, OK. Just make sure it's all lined up. There you go. Um, while they're still selected, we go to Edit again. Auto blend layers and hit OK. And we just wait. And there you have it, all done. So it's created a merged top layer which gives us uh, sharp mountain peaks, sharp um, lakefront there, and then we should be sharp down here in these trees as well. Right, so that's it. That's all we need to do. That's all done. Um, go out and try it yourself. Have fun. Enjoy. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Probably in my next video I'll be actually editing this Queenstown photo um, and we'll try and pull all those colours out and make it really pop and make it look nice. Cool. Until next time guys, see ya.